Although this bar chart may look innocuous, looking at basically a couple of rectangles and a few lines representing your confidence intervals. This is quite beautiful. And the incentive behind the research is actually quite sweet as we read through it. All right, what you're looking here is an improvement basically of lexical fluency, but basically verbal fluency. I look at improvement of verbal fluency. And why is that important? Well, verbal fluency basically is part of the executive function associated with setting goals, making plans, adapting to certain challenges throughout the day. In the case of the researchers here, they're looking to help improve these scores in order to help increase social interaction, and especially in the community. In this case, the research was in Miyagi Prefecture, uh, where they tend to be more elderly, lead to a, a more enriching, 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 fulfilling life among those parts of the population which tend to be older. And by increasing verbal fluency, it helps to do that. Now, what's really amazing besides this improvement just taking place after 12 weeks is this. All right. You see ALA down there, and I want to repeat, ALA uh, stands for alpha linoleic acid. And we're going to refer to another term called DHA, which is docosahexaenoic acid. But people know it's known as DHA. Now, what is amazing is this. This improvement you're looking at right here was done in individuals that had no cognitive impairment and no depression. So in a way, we're taking individuals where everything's already working well, and again, yielding a far better outcome. And of course, with the goal of the researchers to leave, leave, to lead to a more fulfilling and enriching community, especially among friendships and personal relationships by increasing that verbal fluency. So it's actually an incredible sweet incentive behind the research besides just something black and white and a bunch of numbers. So let's get right into the research as follows and the link will be there for you. And I always encourage you to read through the introduction. Always, I like that you trust what I say, but validate. And that even adds greater substance to our conversations. But to proceed, supplementation of flaxseed oil rich in alpha, linoleic, linoleic acid, improves verbal fluency in healthy older adults. Don't say it. The end of the study was to conduct an exploratory evaluation of alpha linoleic acid on various cognitive functions in healthy older subjects, 60 older adults, 65 to healthy older adults, 65 to 80 years living in Miyagi, hope I pronounced it appropriately, prefecture, without cognitive impairment or depression. So again, we're proving upon baseline, which is just really amazing after a 12 week period of time. There's a hypothesis as to why they think this occurs. And that's where we're gonna get to that DHA or docosexenoic acid. We're included in the randomized, double-blinded, placebo-controlled clinical trial, meaning the researchers as well as participants did not know who was taking what. Study subjects were randomly divided into two groups and received either 3.7 grams to repeat. The uh, day of flaxseed oil contained 2.2 grams of alpha linoleic, linoleic acid or an isochloric placebo corn oil containing 0.4 of ALA for a 12-week period of time. Again, then a proven that we both witnessed was only done after 12 weeks. Can you imagine if that was a drug or a medication, a pharmaceutical? It would be, be all over the news. But it's just lowly, innocuous, humble flaxseed oil, but yet it's still kick butt. To proceed, the executive function is a high level function of the verbal fluency task and is recognized as one of the key factors associated with the ability to set goals, make plans, modify and adjust while actually performing the actions and carrying out effective actions in everyday life. That's why that improvement was so fascinating. Now, when I read through a little bit, I'll go fast in some parts, and slower on the areas that we want to emphasize. In fact, such a simple verbal fluency task has a rather complex mechanism, as many cognitive functions are interrelated during this task, including semantic memory, dialectical retrieval, information processing speed, inhibition, working memory, shifting performance, and cognitive flexibility, which is basically a more technical way of repeating what we said before, and including a very anatomical sites. The question is why? Why did this happen, potentially? There are several possible explanations for the effects of alpha linoleic acid on the present study. As suggested in a previous review of the effects of docosexenoic acid, 
It may have improved DHA, may have improved the efficiency of cognitive strategies, which decline with increasing age. By altering the structure of neuronal cell membranes in the broad anatomical regions and improving the fluidity and intracellular connectivity of neuronal cell membrane, which declines with increasing age. Examples of cognitive strategy include clustering, word generation, and switching, transferring of attention from one subcategory to another. Strategies needed in verbal fluency tasks, both which are indeed said to be influenced by age, and implicating Alzheimer's disease, important there, uh, implicating Alzheimer's disease and quote, period, da da, taken together as a possible mechanism of the improved verbal fluency task, ALA was effective in a wide range of brain regions acting broadly on neuronal structures and improving neuronal function from a cellular physiological perspective. A little complex, but again, that's the hypothesis. So it's just that improvement because it tastes good. Remember, randomized, placebo-controlled, double-blinded study. Comparatively, the conversion, this is the part that's interesting. People come with flaxseed oil to DHA. Nah, it doesn't seem to make any sense. But here is the explanation according to the researchers. Comparatively, the conversion of ALA, alpha linolenic acid, to DHA in the liver is reported to be inefficient, but you're just taking a lot of it per se. But the ALA intake, in this case taken daily, may have had a possible cumulative effect and a small amount may have been sufficient. This view is consistent with the consideration that DHA synthesis from ALA in humans is nutritionally adequate despite the low rate of ALA to DHA conversion as reported in a recent review. Furthermore, in this exploratory study in various cognitive functions, ALA intake had no effect on any other task as a side outside of verbal fluency. Now, again, you go, well, they only worked with verbal fluency, but you have to keep in mind, there was no other cognitive impairment or dysfunction per se. So everything was already working, and which makes it twice as amazing to improve that part of the particular outcome itself because everything was already working fine and you just made it better to proceed. Uh, the subject is basically considering the duration of the study, the age of the subjects, and the sensitivity of the cognitive test, it is possible that the decline over time in various cognitive functions was less detectable, i.e. because there was nothing else wrong per se. Proceed. Proceed. The conclusion. Regarding the impact of the results of the study, the importance of maintaining and even extending one's verbal fluency capacity is one of the most important functionalities for older adults to age healthy. Many people and the general public are unaware that some cognitive functions do not decline with age. Even the elderly, if they learn, should be able to increase their knowledge and vocabulary, help social interactions with others, and possibly form societal roles. In this context, if ALA can support verbal fluency, even with increasing age, which is important for communication with others, it can promote societal or social participation among older adults. And as you read through the introduction of this research, it said with such uh, sweetness and compassion, and actually kind of a little bit of excitement because they found a very powerful tool and help maintain those important relationships and help form new ones as well, regardless of the individual's age. But to proceed, summary. In summary, the RCT, Randomized Controlled Trial, evaluating the functionality of daily consumption of flaxseed oil containing 2.2 grams of ALA, improved verbal fluency in healthy individuals. Again, to reiterate, these are healthy individuals. Now, how effective may be an individual to have uh, some cognitive challenges? That we shall see in future studies. To proceed, between the age of 65 to 80, with no abnormalities in cognitive function, despite declines with age. Since the improvement of verbal fluency is significant in cognitive health as one of the factors of Alzheimer's disease progression, further validation studies with a focus on ALA's impact on verbal fluency and executive function are needed to extend the obtained evidence in this study to, or I should say, of older adults. And 
this is the most amazing part about it, is you gotta look at it and you're really looking at an incredibly simple, I don't even wanna use the word intervention, because flaxseed oil really obviously is a food. And you're looking at the 2.2 grams of ALA, basically a quality flaxseed oil, uh, is just quite amazing because this increase, and you saw the control. In fact, let me bring up the chart once again because it'd be a great way to look at it before we actually look at the full study itself. It is just, a, is, well, it's just amazing overall. So, and that's, I can't say amazing enough because it is amazing. And just done after such an incredibly short duration of time. So that is just phenomenal. So, without saying so too often, you look at this and the motivation behind it in regard to enriching or improving the quality of life in individuals, especially in a society or culture, which they tend to have a, a larger and larger subgroup, I should say, of individuals that are used or elderly, let's say just more trips around the sun. Older is quite amazing. And to maintain that social interaction uh, with these higher executive functions where people can actually work together and help each other and again enrich each other's lives and improve the quality of life not just for them but when people can basically work and solve problems on their own that reduces the strain on everyone else it has truly a connective domino effect upon society as a whole where individuals regardless of how many trips they've taken around the sun can maintain an incredible incredible, incredible, valuable part of a functioning society itself. Uh, besides just being great to talk to, i.e. verbal fluency. Again, you gotta give gratitude to the researchers. It was actually quite uh, remarkable in regards to the motivation behind the research itself. Uh, quite sweet words throughout the research as always. And as always, again, gratitude. And I am humbled you watch and look forward to you all once again next week. See you all then. Bye.